Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to recreate a title from a cinematic classic title pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to show you how to recreate the title from a classic cinematic title pack. Uh, you can download that uh, sample by clicking the link in the description below and you can install it and use it as a macro here on the edit page. I got a bunch of functionalities like adjusting the animation length, different kind of animation, uh, a constant zoom. You can modify a bunch of stuff. You got shadow, glow, perspective, background, etc. Right now, we're just going to focus on recreating the look of that title and the simple animation in uh, that go with it. So first off, we're going to bring a new fusion composition. We're going to go over to effect and then we're just going to bring a new fusion composition in our timeline. Let's go over to fusion. Let's bring a background, bring the alpha channel down to zero. Then we're going to bring a first text. We're going to link the output of that text to the background and we're going to bring a second text. We're going to link the output of that second text to the merge queue and then we're going to link the merge to the media out. All right. So now we have all node structure. Let's just write some text. So here, the first one going to be Z. I'm going to switch the font to Sinzel swap bold for regular and bring the size down to 0 0.025 now i'm gonna go to text 2 here we're gonna write evolution i'm gonna have the first letter in capital so e and then evolution and the last letter in capital as well then switch the font to sinzel regular and here we're gonna bring the tracking to 1.3 i'm gonna bring the position down then i'm gonna go back to text 1 and i'm gonna bring the position up a little bit i'm gonna go back to text 2 and here i'm gonna change the color from white to red all right so already here we've recreated the look of the title that i just show you to create a cinematic title what's gonna matter most of the time is having uh, the right font because that's pretty important and usually having a bit of tracking between each letter is helping to have that quote-unquote cinematic look uh, on the title all right let's do the animation now so we're gonna animate on one second so here i'm gonna go to frame 25 i'm gonna select text one I'm going to go over to shading and here I'm going to drop a keyframe on opacity at one. Then I'm going to go down to zero, bring the opacity down to zero. Now for text two, we're going to do something a bit different. So let's go to frame 25, select text two. And here we're going to right click on the text box and we're going to just select follower. We're going to open the modifier window right there. And here we're going to just select instead of automatic inside out. So we're going to make a fade in opacity animation. Same thing as here, uh, what we've done with uh, the text one. But what we're going to do is by using the modifier, the animation going to start from the inside of the text to the outside. I'm going to go to delay. I'm going to select five for the delay. And now we're going to go to shading, drop a keyframe on opacity at one, go down to zero, and then bring the opacity down to zero. And now if we play it, perfect. We've got our animation working. Now we'd like to add one last thing to uh, make it a bit more dynamic. We're going to add a constant zoom to it. To do that, I'm going to select the merge tool. It shift space on my keyboard to open the select tool window. And we're going to search for transform. And we're going to bring a transform node in our node area. The transform node allows us to adjust uh, the size of our entire title. And basically, we're going to add a constant zoom out to make it feel a bit more dynamic. So let's go to frame zero, drop a keyframe on the size, and then we're going to go at the end of our composition. And we're going to bring the size down by as much as we want the zoom to be. So right now, I don't want it to be too fast. So I'm going to bring about 0 0.2 in value. And now let's play it. Perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. If you want to make any modification to the timing of your zoom, you can just go over to the spline and here you can select a transform and you can adjust here your keyframe point. If you adjust the point vertically, it will be the value. So here I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard to stay on the same line. And then I'm gonna move the value of that uh, keyframe point. And if you want the zoom to finish quicker, you can just select your point again hold shift and then on the horizontal axis you can just bring that uh, here in the 50 frame instead of here like 100 frame for example that will just make that zoom way quicker and now it's done 
Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's how you can quickly uh, make a cinematic title in DaVinci Resolve. Again, you can download the macro of this title by clicking the link in the description below. The version we made is way more complete. We've created custom expressions and use anim curve to make everything work properly with different options and being able to adjust the timing. So if you want to benefit of all that, you can just download the macro. And if you enjoy it, we have a full pack of 30 cinematic titles available on our website, so you can check it out as well. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.